morning. Today we are leaving for the Florida Keys. We are spending Thanksgiving with our very dear friends uh, who live in Marathon Key. Um, so we picked up our rental car. We're just about to load up, but um, we will be gone for several days. So I had to harvest some of the eggplants. Um, and of course the bitter melon or the ampalaya. This is after two days of not harvesting. Um, so we have several, some small ones, some big ones. I had some okra. We have Japanese, I think it's Yokohama okra or pink, Japanese pink okra. There are only three of them. They're not as good now. And then our sweet banana peppers. We have been harvesting almost daily. And we have some Philippine eggplants. So that's a lot. So okay. I just got it in because it just stopped. Really. stopped. We need to bring three wine bottles. We got a good load today. Ooh, good harvest. I'm ready. Or I'm done. What did you get then? It's a Jeep Cherokee. Let's go. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. Without freezing, yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and have. Okay, we are here. We are all loaded up. Here's my um, sidekick. In the rain is pouring, it will always be Christmas in my heart. Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss it. So we've just arrived in Miami, and um, I think we're about four minutes away, a mile away from One Eight Hundred Lucky. So One Eight Hundred Lucky is the first and the only Asian food hall here in Miami. So um, there is one restaurant, one vendor here, it's called Jeepney, and they used to be in New York, and they are now down here. So this is really why we came here for, is to see if, how they're doing. <laughs> so in 0.7 miles, Northwest 23rd Street. So it's called 1-800-LUCKY in the heart of Miami. We're in Miami! Say hello, babe! It's been a while. It's been a while since we've been here. I don't remember when was the last time. But we are in the heart of Miami. Looking for 1800 lucky. If we're lucky, we'll find it.
at 1-800-LUCKY and we, we are got lucky. five different dishes. Uh, one matcha shomai. Uh, we have baking duck um, bao, kapsilog from the Philippines, ceviche, which is actually it's B-side. It's like a Japanese. And then we got the tokosh, to, tokas something noodles, which has pork in it. So we're going to dig in. I'm going to try my kapsilog. So the tapsilog comes with uh, soft boiled eggs, garlic fried rice, which is typical Filipino. And then this is, I think, what? Marinated beef tips, I think. Mm. Garlic fried rice is good. So we just got one each. Oh, that's really good. They have some pork in it. Pork belly. Pork belly. Bacon. Hard boiled egg. Hard boiled egg. Um, I think this is. What's the sauce? We don't know. Probably the oh, broth. Oh, and then green green onions, and green right? Onions. It's really good. It's a good thing we brought some uh, we brought a cooler. It's very soft. This is really good. The ramen is really good. I'm eating the egg now. The Peruvian corn. Oh, big how corn. Cool. Now, how does the sauce taste? What do you interesting. Think? It's interesting. It's, I thought it was lemony. Oh, it's not? What is it? It's. Uh, uh, We're trying to figure out the taste, huh? Oh, it's actually lemon. Oh, it's lemony? It's sour. And then it comes with tostones. Tostones. It's a Peru Peruvian style. Yeah, so it comes with the tostones, which is interesting. So I'm going to try the matcha shumai. So it has all of these, um, it's like, look at how all of the chili over here. So the chili right there, look, it's like, that's the bed of chili oil. <laughs> so let's try this one. I hope this is not too hot. Mm. Gonna like it. You really have to eat that. The spicy. It's good. It's uh, 
the Peking Duck Bao. So there's the like the bread as a sauce. It's nicely presented. So let's try. Let's see. You can definitely taste the the taste of the picking duck. It's so you know the authentic taste of the picking duck. It's good. And the bow is so soft. <laughs> Look at that. So it has an ubi ice cream on top, some crushed pinipig, eh? right? A dry, rice crispies. Rice crispies. And I'm not sure what's inside, so we're going to have to dig into That's this. Ube. One. Ube. Look at that. And, and inside there, there should be sweet beans, jackfruit. Yeah. Coke, young coconut so and the famous ubi ice cream with and, our filipino flag and that is the filipino churros oh, it's <laughs> eat the ice cream the ube oh is it makapuno as well i wonder what that sticky thing is then you mix it so it kind of the ube, the ice cream kind of sweetens it. Just eat this. Oh, good. That's why it's called halo halo because you mix mix. To halo is to mix. So we have shaved ice in here, and these are actually like. Um, boiled and sweetened fruits so i'm not sure exactly when we start um, serving it up with a spoon we will know if they have some veggies but sometimes they would add like uh, sweetened uh, beans sweet potatoes and just a lot of stuff you can put in but then you add the coconut, gel, the um, coconut gel then you put a little bit of milk we use evaporated milk, so I don't know how what they use here, but that's pretty much it. the crispiness of the rice krispies we call it pinny pig in the philippines it's just perfect it's so silky it's like so full this is definitely quality hello hello look at that That's we like, drove three hours to get here to that hello hello <laughs> There's just nothing like it. It's just really good. There's still a lot of stuff at the bottom. That I'm not sure what. Oh, there's some corn. Oh, jackfruit. jackfruit. Right there. And they have some coconut. Green coconut. Uh, yeah. And some, what is that thing? Oh, see this one? 
That's coconut, a gel. coconut gel. That's good. It's really good. Almost done. Everything was good. I'll have your number one. I was out drinking, looking for the next thing. I couldn't really settle down. Always on the run, I didn't want to slow down. But baby, then you came around. Yeah, you. Identify what fish that is? A goldfish. See, it's a goldfish. <laughs> We're eating a goldfish. Goldfish. Pancake. Never alone. The sun. We've been coming. 1994. We were still big, big fine. Big yeah. Fine. But was, anyway, we made it to to um, to the keys, to the Florida keys. Hi. <laughs> He's so careful. What is he eating? I found little scraps. Oh no. <laughs> Did you find something? Huh? Did you find something? Yes. Oh, you're so pretty. That's a lot. There's another day. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't done so, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And I hope you would also click the like button. And that really helps me grow my channel. In my next episode, I will bring you down to the Florida Keys. We are going to visit the Dolphin Research Center as well as Crane Hammocks 
center and museum i hope you uh, click the bell so you are notified when i upload those videos in the meantime have a great day and i hope to see you back here again soon